Hello, it's me, uh, Mulberry. Today, I'm going to show you an upcoming feature in Axiom. That is the Gradient Painter. So the Gradient Painter uh, allows you to select two points. So you click on one point, and then you can move your cursor somewhere else. And then you can click and then start dragging to paint a gradient in the world based on uh, you know the distance between those two points. As for the options, uh, we have some brush option options up here. Uh, they're the exact same as the paint option, so I'm not going to uh, go into them. Uh, down here we have the blocks, so you can obviously add new blocks um, like so, and then that'll you know you'll have a gradient with three blocks. If you have four blocks, you'll get a gradient between four blocks, and so on. Um, so <clears throat> the meat and potatoes of the configuration of this tool is in the middle here. Uh, these gradient options. So the first thing uh, that you have the option of configuring is the shape of the gradient. So by default, it's a planar gradient. And so what that means is if we have a gradient here, um, everywhere across the plane will have the same gradient uh, position. So as you go across here, uh, you'll get the same thing as down here. Uh, whereas if we switch over to sphere, uh, the position of the gradient is relative to the, the distance to the original point. And so what that ends up doing is you end up with a uh, circular gradient uh, radiating out from that um, original point there. So that's shape. Uh, the next option you have is interpolation, which changes how the position of the gradient uh, is interpreted as blocks. So by default, the nearest interpolation uh, we'll just use whichever block is nearest. So if you're on this end, it's just going to always use granite. If you're on this end, it's always going to use stone. Uh, if we switch to linear, what this is going to do is it's going to uh, influence the probability of blocks appearing based on how close it is. So if you're over here uh, near the stone, you have a 100% chance of stone. If you're over here, you have a 100% chance of granite. And as you approach the center, you'll end up with a 50% chance of one or the other. Uh, now, importantly, with the linear interpolation type, is that it always it's, it's only ever interpolating between two block types at once. So if we have three block types here, and we draw a gradient across here, uh, you'll notice that it goes from diorite, and then it go and then it fades diorite into granite, and then it fades granite into stone. You're never going to end up with uh, diorite and stone. Uh, next to each other. If we were to graph out the probability of uh, this function, it would look, uh, if I just quickly draw a gradient across here, if we were to graph out the probability, it would look something like this. And so as you can see on the, on the left side here, uh, you pretty much have, uh, where this is 100% uh, you have a 100% chance of getting diorite. And then as you approach the uh, this point here, you end up with a 50-50 chance between diorite and the granite. Uh, in the center here, you end up with uh, essentially uh, a 100% chance for granite. And then as you approach over here, you end up with a 50% chance for granite or stone. And then as you go further, you end up with a 100% chance for stone. Okay. Uh, the next interpolation type is Bezier. Now, unlike uh, the linear interpolation type, the Bezier interpolation type allows uh, the blocks to be spread over the entire domain. So if we were to graph this out, it would look something like this. So on the left side here, you essentially, more or less, have a 100% chance of stone. On the right side here, you have 100% chance of diorite. But uh, if you look carefully, the, there is still a very small chance, mind you, of stone appearing even very close to the to the end. And you can see that reflected. You can see a stone block here and here and here. Uh, there's not too many of them, but there is there is a small chance. Towards the middle here, the most common block type is uh, going to be granite. Uh, and as you shift back and forth, the most common block type uh, will obviously change uh, depending on what point you are. Now, the way the function is set up is you, you do end up with an even chance uh, for all three of these blocks. Uh, even if you have four different block types, you'll still end up with an, an even chance uh, of all of these over the entire domain. Uh, it's just that 
the position determines what block is most likely at that particular point. All right, and that is the gradient painter. I hope you find uh, this tool useful. It'll be out soon. Uh, thank you for watching.